Okay guys, today we're going to be talking about another quick tip to make bushcrafting better. Now this isn't super complicated, it is pretty easy, but if you find yourself running into situations when you're out in the woods where having something like a draw knife would be very helpful, and I think there, there are plenty of those situations, uh, albeit some people might not be as aware, but if you ever have to plane down a surface, especially on a project, maybe something like an elevated kitchen, having the ability or the knowledge to retrofit your knife into a uh, draw knife style of blade is very handy and pretty helpful. So that's actually what we're gonna cover today is how to make your knife into a draw knife. So it's a pretty simple process. All you need is a knife, of course. A larger knife though is preferable for this. So something like a blade inch of around seven inches because uh, when you form your knife into a draw knife, uh, you're gonna be using a piece of wood. So that piece of wood is gonna take up, you know, probably a good few inches of the blade. So if you have a blade that's already very small, you may be left with a very small surface to draw or plane down. So you wanna start with something that has about a seven to six and a half inch blade length, uh, preferably. You can do this with smaller knives. It just won't yield the same results. So the next thing you need is a baton. So this will require batoning quite obviously. So uh, you will need a baton. And then lastly, you're gonna need just a little bit of paracord. I probably have a little bit too much. I probably have a little bit too much paracord here for this exact project, but you'll just need a little bit of paracord to make sure that the project goes, to make sure that there's no movement with the draw knife or as little movement as possible. So the first thing you want to do is identify your piece of wood. You can always use your blade to kind of balance that off. So you want something that's about the length of your blade. This one's a little bit longer, but that will be just fine. So the next thing you're going to want to do is take your blade at the spot that you are wanting to um, have it your piece of wood as a handle, and then you're going to lightly baton it. So there's a difference between some batoning with splitting wood for fires, I usually baton the blade pretty hard for that. But for something like this where the aim is to not split the wood, I'm gonna aim for about the center of the blade and then give it a few light taps. Now, hopefully the objective is that you wanna get your blade about, you wanna get your blade into the wood. So you don't want little to any spine sticking out of the blade, in fact, or out of the wood. In fact, you actually want to drive the piece of, or the blade, I should say, not the piece of wood, uh, a little bit deeper into the wood. So once again, you want to be cautious here not to split the piece of wood that you're batoning, but you want to get it pretty low in there. Now, this piece has split out pretty well, and that's what the paracord is for. So optimally, uh, you wouldn't want as much splitting as is going on here, but this is also dried wood. However, this is okay. So what you want to do at this point is take your paracord and lash, especially the top of the handle or top of the makeshift handle with paracord. So I'm going to do that real quick. Of course, you also want to keep in mind, do be cautious because there is also a tip of a knife here, so you don't necessarily want to um, stab yourself with that. That would be uh, definitely not fun. And then to finish it off, I usually use a square knot and then of course followed up by a surgeon's knot. Okay. So once you have your lashing there, usually the friction of the split wood tends to hold the blade pretty well, uh, keeps it from going down. And of course, with the lashing, you have to try to make it as tight as you can, but the lashed uh, paracord usually helps prevent the knife from going back out. So once you have it, you basically have formed an extra handle at the tip of your knife or the end of your knife and uh, it ends up being pretty handy if you want to do something like, if you need to do something like making an impromptu draw knife to help remove wood pretty easily. And you can see here, this handle, while not the most sturdy, uh, especially due to the fact that this wood is pretty split up, um, is certainly still effective enough. And uh, hopefully you guys can see there, it does a pretty good job having a draw knife and helps retrofit your blade into something pretty useful and pretty handy. 
Of course, that was just a test, an example, but draw knives are pretty useful, especially when it comes to larger crafts, when you're trying to plane down a piece of wood to make it flat so that you can uh, use it for something like a workbench or something along those lines. So hopefully this quick tip so hopefully this quick tip has been helpful and handy. I do this quite a bit when I'm out and like I said, I need it. Uh, it's just something nice to, this is a nice quick trick to uh, kind of just keep in your toolbox of knowledge because it's super simple to do pretty fast. You can knock this out and uh, it's a lot safer and a lot more handy than trying to cut back at yourself or to try to plane down with the knife. You can actually do a lot of work with the knife uh, with an extra handle at the tip of it. So anyways guys, hopefully you've enjoyed this video and as always, God bless and I'm out.